Have you ever found yourself searching for something only to realize it was right in front of you? Or maybe you've experienced that feeling of being lost, but continued along the same path until you realized you were completely lost. Have you ever made a mistake while trying to juggle multiple tasks at once? Lastly, have you ever felt hesitant to speak up in a decision because you were worried your idea wouldn't be accepted? If you answered yes to any of these questions, it's completely normal. You're human. Usually, misplacing keys or getting lost isn't a big deal. But when these kinds of things happen at work or while driving, they can have serious consequences. That's why it's important to understand the causes behind these errors and learn methods to minimize them. Most individuals in any industry genuinely aim to perform well, but we're all prone to making mistakes. It's a human trait. The adaptability and flexibility inherent in people often contribute to a flawed system working relatively well. Prioritizing the system itself, rather than assigning blame to individuals, is key to cultivating a safe and reliable workspace. While creating a safe work environment requires a supportive culture, strong leadership, and well-defined safety systems, mistakes leading to injuries can still occur even when these elements are in place. The structure and functioning of our brain play a role in explaining why we're susceptible to these errors. Welcome to the Making Safe Decisions System, an approach designed by DECRA to help you develop skills in five critical areas, seeing, thinking, doing, moving, and teaming, enabling you to work both safely and effectively. We'll begin by exploring the seeing element. In this section, we'll focus on enhancing our ability to identify exposures. Once we've identified an exposure, the next step is to consider how to control it, a topic we'll dive into in the thinking component. Oftentimes, we fall into thinking traps that hinder our ability to effectively control exposures. The third aspect of the Making Safe Decisions system is doing. Even in the best of circumstances, it's possible to overlook a step or make a mistake. In this segment, we'll learn strategies for engaging in checking and continuous verification to minimize errors. Moving. The fourth element will center on exploring soft tissue injuries, understanding contributing factors, and discovering preventive measures. Finally, we'll conclude with teaming. Collaborating with others is a powerful strategy for minimizing exposure risk, but it requires effective skills in communication, checking, and intervening to enhance decision-making abilities. Along our journey to a safer future, you will have multiple methods for learning what it takes to make safe decisions. Videos like this one, will provide you with an introduction to each of the key elements corresponding with the five components of making safe decisions. E-learning will complement the videos and provide more relevant content which you can access anytime. Finally, the third method to reinforce learning to make safe decisions is through huddles. Your supervisors will lead these discussions on the job. This is your opportunity to engage with your team members, provide feedback, and incorporate that into your daily practice. The goal of DECRA's Making Safe Decisions is to equip you with capabilities to reduce susceptibility and making catastrophic errors. We look forward to joining you in this journey. Until then, keep making safe decisions.